you could check yourself throughout the day in both those places, and there are more going all the way down the body. These horizontal bands are places that we block our bodies, our muscles block the flow of life, the flow of our bloodstream, the lymph in our bodies, all those things that are moving get stopped at these places of habitual contraction. We often talk about this one in the jaw, which is just so important as the champagne bottle cork, right? And if you've seen a champagne bottle in that cork, right? You know, when you pop it out, oh, there's all this fizz and energy. If you can imagine a tight jaw is holding down everything's bubbling in you. The thoughts, the emotions, the feelings, all energy, right? For, usually for really good reasons, so let me clear, you know? Um, and we just don't want it to be a habit. We want to be in more awareness here, more looseness, to have the option to release all that's been held in for years as well as to not hold so habitually moving forward. So initial steps, getting present, getting present, getting present. And once we've done those things, taken stock, stop the war with reality, check the usual suspects, we begin to organize ourselves on purpose. You can do this seated, standing, lying down, whatever you feel will be the most inviting to your aliveness in the body in this moment. I'm sitting on one of those wobble stools. I have arthritic knees and hips, and this has been a miracle for me. So if you see me moving around, that's why. It's really just stretch out the low back. But whatever works for your body, line yourself up, feet parallel, knees over your ankles, spine straight, but not pulled upright chin level with the floor and take some deep breaths, bringing your awareness even more into your body. Coming down, coming down, coming down. We spend a lot of time, heads drop even more into the throat, into the chest, into the diaphragm area, all the way down to the lower belly that place that is the center of gravity when we are standing upright. You can put a hand there by just put, tucking a thumb in your navel and letting your palm drop. And that area behind your palm, all the way deep in your pelvis, that is your center of gravity. So just let your breath go into that center Lit. Front back, side to side. Really let your awareness or life, your being, you live there. And just notice what shifts as you pull, fill, expand in your center. we center in our length. What that means is relax, breathing into our full length from the bottom of our feet to the top of our heads, letting the lower and upper halves of our body come into a relationship of balance, really dropping, just dropping all the weight giving it to gravity, surrendering. And at the same time, we're rising. So just notice, can you breathe into your spine from the sacrum into those vertebrae of the lumbar spine and on up through the thoracic spine and on up cervical spine all the way right out the top of your head, letting there be a little bit more space between each vertebra. Length, full, natural length. Your inherent dignity, the right to exist, the deserving and worth 
that is yours because you exist before you do a damn thing. Not having to earn it. Just notice in your body where you can really feel that deserving, that innate worth. And notice if there's any part of your body that contracts away from it or doesn't believe it is lying. We're not going to change it. We're just deepening our awareness. Here, let's center in with. So some deep breaths in powerful center line that we just developed and letting it fill out or furl out, uncurl, fold out, whatever verb works for you to fill you side to side. And the filling is that you're filling yourself with yourself. Bringing your right and left sides of the body into balance and relationship. Filling out to the edges of your skin and beyond. Taking up space, right-sized space, neither too small and narrow and held in, which lots of us learn, or like the soldier move, like just, oh, I'm going to get big and take up all this space. I always think of men on the New York subway. If anybody has that image in mind, it's like, do you really need two and a half to three seats? Probably not. But what is right size for you? Right size, natural. And again, we're talking about a right to space, to belonging, to being part of community, to the interdependence that came with your birth. So just breathing in to your full width and belonging. So still connected to dignity, still connected to that weight of your own center, your own aliveness, still holding your interdependent center in depth. You can put a hand in front of your body and one off of your body and depth this third dimension is all that space being. So just let your breath move both your hands and really bring your awareness to what's in between them. You may even want to close your eyes for a minute here and just, oh yeah, this amazing anatomy a system of circulation, the heart and all the veins and arteries and blood vessels. Wow, and respiration, the lungs, and then all the bronchia and all the ways that they interact with the rest, with the circulation system to get new oxygen throughout your whole body to refresh your blood and the digestion, your nervous system, lymph, the bones, the muscles. Just imagine you're making more space between the front and back of your body for all of that. All of that life. Let's put a little attention on our backs. Most of us forget that we have backs especially in this age of doing so much on Zoom, where we're, we are seeing ourselves, the front of ourselves, as well as everyone else. It's like, oh, but there's a back. So just really feel your back. You can perhaps use the air on your neck, the clothes on your back, where your back is touching the chair. You can focus on your heels. You're seated. You can focus on those sit bones, your sacrum. Really let yourself feel your back. Then 
then put a little awareness of space behind you. And on whatever come mind, when I say all is behind you, all is at your back. Often that's a metaphor of time, your past, your lineage, all the experiences that brought you here, all the experiences of your family, your teachers, all of history, and really the greatest gift of all, and it's a gift to each of us, four billion years of evolutionary wisdom that produced you. If and when we connect to that, at least for me, it can be such a resource reminds me that my part in this great drama is actually tiny. Maybe I don't have to sweat it so much. Also bring some awareness to the front of your body and just notice, notice where it's tight or closed or armored. Notice where it's soft, porous. Where is it contracted? Where is it numb? And again, whatever comes to mind when I say, what's ahead of you? What are you facing into? Often the future. Invite your body, the front body, to be as relaxed as is appropriate for the future you're facing. And then just holding that whole through line, where you came from, where you are, this mass aliveness, where you're going. Let's bring attention to what we care about. In this methodology, we say your commitment, you have one, say it to yourself. If you have no idea what I'm talking about, that's fine. Think of in this moment what matters to you all this life that you are, what are you choosing to serve with it? And let that response just fill you. Let it nourish all the cells of your body, all of who you are. <laughs> 